Guys, I just saw the craziest thing. You ready? Yo! That is sick, the Rivian! Whoa! Yo, what's up? I like it! What's up, man? This is sick! This is the Rivian, right? Yeah. Oh, shit! You gonna drive this yet? Nah, we don't have it on our station. Can I take a look? Yes. Yo, it's sick in here. Oh, snap. <laughs> How you like it so far? I love it. Oh my God. Automatic doors. Oh, wow. No key, nothing. You don't even use the brake. Yeah, it's because you have it on your wrist or something, right? It's got to have it in your pocket. Oh, that's sick. You don't use the brake either. Yeah, I'm coming from a step van driver, but I might transfer over there. I hate it's... those fucking vans, man. Oh, really? I, hate I love them. them. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, they're a lot of fun. Shit yet. That's like a 1960 prison van. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, man. No problem, Oh, my man. God. All right. All right Take care. care. Oh, snap. Rivian. Whoa. There it goes. <laughs> Hi, can I get a medium coffee, milk and sugar? And can I get a sweet black pepper bacon sandwich? Hi, um, Matthew. Yeah. Do you have a sweater? Step van of prison. It's a nice prison, okay? There's a lot of space. But here in the cargo van, now this, this is a prison. He's right, I've never been in the Rivian, so maybe it is a lot better out there. Okay, we made it to our first stop. Let's go. And yeah, all right, let's get working, guys. Today is supposed to be a shitty day. It's supposed to rain and snow. It starts in like an hour or two, and that's what the video is going to be about. All right, always take out the boxes first. Oh my god, so many envelopes. And the envelopes. Oh man, no space. I hate when they put me in the cargo van, dude. And I just organize them here by streets. Oh, I should eat my sandwich. Ooh. All right, I got my packages somewhat organized by streets. So I know we're doing these streets first. If I can just find the package. So, this. All right, here's our second stop right down the street. Let's, uh, let's do that. Customized box 106. Uh, There. Pro tip, never drink this at, right after you get it because it's so hot and it'll bring your tongue. It like warms up my heart. This looks like a driveway, someone's driveway, but it's actually a street. You can see there's a sign and a couple of houses down here. Look at that sky. So yeah, like I was saying before, rain and snow. Coming my way. Don't worry, I'm on my way. The only upsides to the cargo van versus the step van. Oh my God. I hate this, the beeping. I mean, too much beeping. As I was saying, the upsides to the cargo van, that it's warm in here, you know. Feels like a car. And number two, the radio. Yeah, I don't know if I told you guys this story, but sometimes they put me in the cargo van because there's not enough step vans. Especially on Tuesday and Wednesday when we have a surplus amount of uh, step van drivers. So it's always a crapshoot. You know, if someone calls out, I'm there. But if no one calls out, I'm in the cargo van. I think it goes by seniority. I always begged my dispatch that if I could drive a step van, they always say yes, but then I never end up driving one. For example, on Tuesday, my dispatch calls me at the end of the day because he thought my truck was stolen or my van was stolen. Because um, I think on the, the Metrodyne cameras, it showed someone else driving my vehicle. And it must have been like a glitch or something because I have no idea what happened. At the end of the call, I was like, yeah, I'm in the parking lot, about to park. And he's like, all right, cool, cool. I was like, wait, 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 hold on. 
could you put me in a step van tomorrow? And then he was like, sure, sure. It's not a problem. Can you just try to put me one? And if there's room, let me know. And it's like, yeah, we'll make room. And then I was like, don't forget. And he was like, never, never, never. But guess who forgot the next day? Who totally forgot about that conversation we had? Who was put in a cargo van? A sprinter? Me. I've been driving FedEx for like three years and I'm, I've been downgraded. But yeah, that conversation did happen. And um, <laughs> me, he may or may not have sound like the Aki guy that makes those sandwiches. And that was the day I learned to accept that I'm gonna be put in a cargo van sometimes. I used to get a little frustrated when I was putting these, but now I've come to terms. I love it in here. Or that's what I taught myself. Two days ago, it was also snowing and raining. So today I'm prepared because as you can see, here's one sock, boom, two socks. Double up, keep your feet warm. There's one envelope and one box, just like that. Boom, baby. I think the key to going fast is having an organized truck. See how fast I did that? It took me less than five seconds. Boop. Don't forget the photo. Never, never, never. It's a 10 second stop. Oh my God, I love these townhouses. And the next one's right there. But they didn't put it as a group stop. And just like that, an hour and a half in, starting to snow. It's gonna be a long day. The snow isn't too bad to deliver in, but the rain, the rain's gonna suck. Let me tell the truth. Ah, I hate this place. So, the pin for the delivery is in the front, but the deliveries go to the side. All right, here. Uh, 89. I think it's uh, one of these. Six. Yes. Snow, snow, snow. Ah! Damn. What's up, man? How you doing? Over there, that guy? Just got this one for you. Okay. All right, have a good day. Look, the pin's in the front. I can't, I can't close my scanner until I drive up there. But yeah, I changed the pin multiple times, but it keeps bringing me back to the front. All right, we're gonna try changing again. Boom, like that. Let's see a seat. I don't know where to put this. Oh, hello, Amazon. Just got this one for you. I'll leave it right down there. Have a good day. Let's see, if someone's in here. Someone in here? Hello. You know, this is a cookie factory, but I have yet to get a cookie from them. <laughs> it smells kind of good though. Sometimes I put it there, or sometimes they want it. Let me see. Oh, that one's here. There it is. Right there. All right, we're just gonna go to the front. Uh, snow's coming down and it's raining, I can tell. It's all in here. Hello. <laughs> Amazon. I just got these for you. I'll put it right here. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks. All right. Ah, it's coming down. Gotta pull on my hood. It's coming. Rain pouring. All my cores are foreign. Wait a minute. I don't think the Ram Pro Master is a foreign car. To deflect all this rain. Oh, damn. Hello, Amazon. Just got that for you. Okay. Every time we touch, I get the kind of the skies. I love the radio, dude. It gives you a change of pace. Oh, what's up, man? Okay, good. Just got there. Got it. You know, I'm pretty organized in the front, but in the back, it's a it's a crap shoot out here. Honestly, the driver aid numbers don't make any sense at all. 
I realized that the driver aid numbers don't go in order for reasons I don't understand. So yeah, when I'm in the cargo van, I always just put everything in the back. Some people like to put on the side shelf, but sometimes you get too many totes. Make sure to drink your coffee when it's hot. Because ah, when it's cold, nasty. All right, I just came from this area, but the GPS is telling me to go back. And they got an Amazon locker. Very unusual place to put one. I think I organized everything right. So these are one street and these packages. This. All right, we'll bring these first. Oh man. Oh my God. People don't like having the lockers outside because when it rains and it freezes, you can't get your package. Get check-in code, scan it. I hate my life. Please. There we go. I'm cold. I'm tired. I'm sick. I'm wet. These packages are getting wet. We gotta quickly go. Come on, open. Yeah, I'm glad they have lockers here. Or otherwise, you would have to deliver to each door. There's one door, there's another door. There's one door all the way in the back. Unless they're big ones, then they'll instruct us to deliver to the front. Damn, I've been standing out here for like five minutes. Next person to mention that these are FedEx pants. These are not. These are Amazon Attire approved pants. Look, they even have the logo, see? See? Boom. So don't say anything. Even though it's raining slash snowing and it's fucking cold, I feel pretty good. I guess when you have like 130, 140 stops, it's not too bad. You know, today's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Third of the way there. Oh man, and it's coming down. Oh. Starting to stick too, you can see on the grass. But look, they have a station for snacks for drivers. And look, that's me. That's so awesome. <gasps> that used to be me too. It's a whole stand. It's not even Christmas. It's January. Thank you so much. Uh. It's the FedEx guy. Yo! FedEx! The purple promise! Hopefully the camera's not getting too wet. Hopefully you guys can see, I can't tell. Chinese food. First walk? Is this it? Oh. Hey man. Package for a ride. Is that you? Thank you. Have a good day. I'm trying to get all the drivers to go snowboarding with me. <laughs> kind of like a group activity, team building exercise, but mostly just for fun. There's this YouTuber, his name is um, Mike KH. He has a channel where he's an Amazon driver and went snowboarding, so I guess I took some inspiration from him. I like his videos, they're more, they're a lot different than, um, than mine. It's a different style. I told him he should upload it again, and he said he will. Mike, if you're watching this, you lied to me. It's like 3.40, we have two totes left. And what was that? Maybe like five overflow? Yeah, we're going pretty fast. We'll probably finish around 4.30, 4.45. And yeah, still snowing, but the rain has definitely picked up. All right, end of the day in the secret parking lot. I'm gonna park right here. And here's my car. Oh, sick. Yeah, right now it stopped snowing and it's just raining. A little less than eight hours. Oh, and here's my duffel bag that I won a couple videos ago. And guys, check it out. Hold on. Sandwiches and a brownie. So when I got to RTS or return to station, they were, we got these snacks for all the drivers. It's probably because it was snowing all day. It was miserable out there. The post inspection, remember 90 seconds. You gotta make sure we're doing it correctly. I wanna show you what I got for peak. They may or may not be tips, but two houses gave me stuff. 
So the first one, white envelope, when I was delivering this package, this lady came out and just gave it to me. So let's see what we got. Ooh, card. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Let's go! Thank you for all you do throughout the year. Best wish it. That's $20, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> and then here's the other one. It says Amazon employee. They X out employee and they said hero. Another card. Peace to the world. Oh my God. <laughs> $50. May your 2023 be filled with love, magic, and abundant blessings. Take care of your heart and be well. We appreciate you. Leave space in your heart for the unimaginable. I've been waiting to open that for, <laughs> for weeks. <laughs> but I kept forgetting. Dude, somehow my dog always knows when I'm home. I think it's because of my car. It makes a beep. Yeah. My dog hears that from like a mile away. Oh my god, you see that? What's that? Is that my dog? <laughs> Winning! How'd you know I was home, Winnie? How'd you know? What do you want to tell my subscribers? Tell them now. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. It's my room. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. See you later.